the chest oh. cheek out. Oh. Can't even see eyes or a smile. Not now. <laughs> well, I mean, because Jamie never smile. smiles, so. That'd be a fun mm -hmm. way to play a. That'd be a, a funny way to play a Tabaxi. They have an item that makes them invisible except for their teeth and eyes. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see. Where's Seeger? Uh, didn't you say he might be late, but he didn't know? Yeah, he sure. did. He did say so. Yeah. No, he said yeah, he, he just. Was, no, he said he was going to be late. And then he said he wasn't going to be late. Oh yeah, he said he might have to leave leave early. Yeah, Did it he might say have changed. That he, uh, weren't going to be that late. Wasn't yeah, that it, thing that he said at one point. Uh -huh. I think no. he also said that he would say more as it came up, but he never. At did. one point, he said that he wasn't going to be here. Mm. And that was that. Yeah. And then he said, no, he I'm going to be here. Hmm. Well, yeah, th that's because um, his appointment got moved from today to yesterday. Correct. Yeah. Holy moly. The, uh, the sheets got... Yep. A big update. Yeah. Big, big update. visual. Oh, there's only two tabs now. There's a conditions box where you can actually mark what conditions you have. Cool. Uh, HP has changed. Slightly. It not doesn't too look bad, like though. it looks like they oh, managed wait. to not delete things this time though. Hmm. Uh, they've had a couple of few minor updates where they haven't really deleted anything. He, like, whoever runs the sheet's gotten way better at that. But yeah, pretty much everything is now on the character tab. Just scroll oh, down. Yeah. Well, they used to have character spells and then all, which just showed characters and spells. Well, at one point they split it to, like, character, spells, equipment. Yeah. Back, it was either background or backstory was a tab, and that's where you got all the actual misc info. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've made it look more like the actual character sheet. I do like I do like the the way they've handled slots for spells though with the, just little circles you click. Yeah. It's, it's instead of having to instead of having to put a number, which could be could be fiddly to do. <laughs> I wonder how it handles if you have extra spell slots from something. Okay. This is gonna be a good session. Oh. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> Good thing I already made that back up. <laughs> <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, is everybody here? I think Seeger arrived, but I haven't I heard. Said hi. Oh, hello. Oh, we didn't hear hi. you. Again. Okay. You didn't hear him. I just ignored him. No, I'm oh, eating, I so that's why. Him. I didn't hear him either. Man, man, get on roll 20. You can uh, eat your food in roll 20. How about you make your mama go to the roll 20? Oh, uh, bitch. Oh. Would, Thank you. Require, okay. That would require me to teach my mother how to use a computer. Yes. Uh, anyway, so... With well, this, we left. You all had uh, just taken a year off to do a number of different cool things. Uh, you achieved some things, uh, mostly uh, doing some very cool jobs uh, throughout the year. Um, some things happened uh, on the meantime. Uh, namely, lots of different uh, misc encounters going through the spheres. Um, but you dealt with all of them expertly. Well, not expertly, but, hmm. you know, you dealt with all of them. Um, and you managed to get quite a bit of gold. 
you use that gold to not only upgrade uh, the Mantis and buy uh, some weapons for the Galleon. Uh, if you look, we actually have uh, two heavy cannons for the Galleon now. Um, but you also bought a ton of magic items at Cass. You decided that the best thing you could possibly do now is to get revenge on that beholder that killed your captain and took Frawl's beard and mech and basically just kill him and, and you know, take his stuff. Uh, so you went towards Kazadar. On the way there, you saw a friendly merchant ship uh, in the way of a tradesman and they hailed you and asked if they could come aboard and basically do some trading. Uh, you acquiesced, seeing as though you are fine people, and you spoke for a little bit before he said that he had some, uh, basically some crop uh, animals, basically like cow or something like that. Um, and he brought uh, Gertis and Kia into the tradesman's cargo before ambushing them and attempting to assassinate them, uh, revealing that, in fact, the cages, or the cage, rather, uh, held a abomination of human faces and tentacles. No wonder I'm so tired. It's 2 a.m. and then she leaves. Good job. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna fuck you up your cameras now. So hey. Tuesday game. I don't worry about the cameras as much. They're in they're in a separate window. Oh shit! That's a burn. <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, but the assassination didn't look good at one at one point. They had. Both of them uh, paralyzed. One of them actually chopped off Gertis's hand. And the other was going to take out Kia's uh, eye. And it looked like all was bad until Gertis finally took uh, the damage and managed to basically, <clears throat> still in shock from the heavy pain of him, getting his hand chopped off, uh, managed to defeat one of them uh, before the others arrived and Kia defeated the other. Then uh, there was... With, with defeated, do you mean that he got va vaporized? Vaporized, and There's yes. nothing left of him, yeah. Uh, Kia then ran off after the, uh, the abomination was also dealt with, which, by the way, uh, their corpse, the corpse of the Abomination, uh, turned to dust immediately after dying. Um, what basically happened after that was uh, Kia left immediately to go to the clerics, uh, got her eye fixed, which was basically hanging out of her socket. Um, <clears throat> uh, it is not in damage or anything like that. Everything's fine with her eye, by the way, Jamie. Um, and uh, Gertz is down a hand. Their right hand. Down a hand. That's a very nice That's... way to put, oh, he has, he has his hand chopped off. He suddenly got a lot less well, hand. I mean, I was uh -huh. a technical artist. It's weird I didn't have one to begin with. Mm. What? What? Oh. Uh -huh. Anyway, don't worry about it. Motherfucker. Uh, point being, uh, that is pretty much where we left off with everybody just sort of like wondering what to do next. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Varka also ate some of the sludge from the abomination. He did. A lot of it. For like two minutes. 
And then she went and t did a bunch of rituals <laughs> to circumvent the whole sludge eating thing. I went and basically burned all of my spells. Yes. Um, no good. <laughs> Motherfucker. Well, she got another save. So. Which, which I think I didn't do very good at either. My point. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, I got a 12. Oh, yes, and you also found a hidden chest in in the tradesman, which held I uh, found the Baylor's blade. Yeah. I also uh, which Garnus excitedly took and uh, was very excited about, <clears throat> even though he yeah. can't really use it right now. Um... No, he can because he can, it, 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 uh, be, it could be a it's whip. It's a whip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, after all of this is done, uh, Frawl would kind of tell the ship to go to a standstill and to be on the alert. Okay. If any other vessels approach and stuff like that. And I believe uh, we are still. Sorry, uh, I need the map in front of me. Uh, shoot. Where are you? You are still. Only five days uh, through the, the flow, basically, um, towards Kathadar. You have uh, yeah, now. yeah, B between Kasa and Kathadar, right? That's correct. Exactly, yeah. We're very much still there. And we also, they, they, the they put out anchor. Yeah, they put, yeah. put anchor. Yeah, but uh, I'm uh, telling people, like, okay, will you stand still? And will you stand still and not move while we figure this out? Uh, first of all, who's the one who fucking lost his fucking hand? All right. Um, Do you see Gertis like slink away into the shadow? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm assuming that we kind of split up at this point. Um, uh, Kia, can you just make sure that if anything approaches, shoot it down before it gets close? So if you just stand on the deck, take a big fucking thing and point it in any direction that moves. All She's right? actually uh, holed up in her room, just sort of well, like shit. not. All right, I'm, I'm not that. saying that. I'm <laughs> saying that to my next reliable guy, who's Roderick. Roderick will do what you ask. Definitely, he'll cool. he'll fire at anything that comes by. Yep. It seems like you know an enemy. Yep. No, no he said anything. anything that moves. Anything that moves, shoot at it. Are you sure? Because there uh, might be... Uh, unless they are flying colors that would, would entail, you know, things like the uh, Elven Alliance or stuff like that. Okay. If, 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 we would, if, if, if this is the flow... We would kind of position ourselves right outside of it, here. And if it looks like, and we would do flags that say, don't approach us. And if, if it looks like someone is approaching us, then shoot. Okay, so, yeah. hell flags that say, don't approach G us. Yeah, GTFO. Yeah. Get the fuck out, okay. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Uh, we Roger. have a plague. Roderick uh, gets ready. You tell them to, yep. you know, hail flags. They they do so. Um, and and yeah, then I will go talk to Gerdas. Where Gerdes would you be, Gerdas? <clears throat> Gerdas is on the deck of the ship, staring out. Okay. Staring out at the uh, the uh, the flow. Yeah. So, you know, we all have passed that will come back to bite us, but it seems like you bite, <laughs> your past bites very hard. And I point at the stump of his hand. I, uh, I go to slap you with that hand, but it obviously misses, because <laughs> it's like a shadow hand. It's like, oh, that was yeah. effective. Yeah. Oh well. You need to slap for life. You left-handed. I am left-handed. Oh, sorry. 
right-handed then. So, Curtis, I think it's time to tell you, I think it's time for you to tell me about what just happened and why it happened. A lot of people could have died there. Luckily, it was only you who got hurt. Kiyu got hurt as well, might I add. Uh, yeah. Have you but checked she's on recently? He's an elf. I mean... She's been your <laughs> friend for like a year. Uh, <laughs> friend is like, you know, uh, a harsh term. Yeah, it's it's that's, a very heavy that, term. Yeah, that's for all in-character saying, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're using very strong words here, friend. Um, acquaintance. Um, crewmate. There we go. And I will check on all my crewmates later. But for night, right now, it's no priority. Oh, well, I'm glad you placed me at the top of that list, Captain. Well, you kind of get almost got us killed, so you're up there. I'm also the reason why you're the captain, so you're welcome. No, he's it's lying. Because I'm, he's it's lying. Because, yeah, I'm saying no, it's because I'm great. Of course. But again, that's who were like those people, and why uh, were they chopping hands and the ripping eyes, and why is there a fucking cursed chest, and why do you have a whip now? It's very kinky. Oh, well, thank you. Um, uh, compliments? Let's, okay. Let's say that you no, had... Let's say, hmm? let's plain speak. Oh, like, plain speak, if okay. If this is the level, and then you bring it down here, very low... My, My father's level. ahead of the cult of Vecna. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> do you does does Frol know what Vecna is or who? Uh, twenty-four. Absolutely, you know who Vecna is. Yeah. I'm assuming you know who Vecna is out of character. Yeah. 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 I Which have no five? fucking clue. I have no <laughs> fucking clue who Vecna is. You, Vecna you is a uh, uh, god of secrets. Is. Yeah. Did you, did you not watch? Did you not watch Critical Role? I watched Critical Role. I assumed it was something Matt made up. No, no, oh, that's an actual. God. That Wait, that is a god this. added in. Okay, so which supplement was it? Was it the, one of the or first supplement supplements for AD and D or it, it, second it's, edition? It basically, yeah. it's a god of secrets. It's yes. a god of secrets, death, betrayal, and lies. Yeah. He he was yeah. a mortal who ascended to godhood. Yeah. Uh, yeah no. That's why I was Bad so news. shocked when he went for my eye. And I was like, what do you mean he went for my eye? Vecna's eye and Vecna's yeah. hand. The eye of thing. Vecna, the hand of Vecna are artifacts yeah. from yeah. like uh, yeah. first years. Again, those are also real artifacts. It's, it's fine. It's out of character knowledge. So it's good that you don't know. I mean, I kind of want, the, I, I kinda no want the left buttock of Vecna. That has some real yeah. power in it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, keep going. You say Vecna. Uh, Frog goes, yeah, you mentioned him earlier. Uh, her, her, him, it's earlier. He, he, he kind of interchanges between whenever he feels like it. Uh, more than isn't that particular about the thing. He says, it's a bitch, and that can mean anything, right? So, continue. Well, there's not much more to say than that. Imagine having a father who belongs to an evil god of death, lies, and betrayal. <laughs> My friend, I can imagine... I imagine you can imagine a great deal of bad things that can come from that. Let's just say I've been through the ringer. So, why would they go after you? Just because your father is like a, a big cultist or whatever? Well, it, it doesn't help that I think Vecna is lying to all of his followers. Well, he is kind of the god of betrayal, so it wouldn't surprise me. But... Yes, betrayal maybe, but not not forced deception. Not He may be the god of lies. He's... But I'm he's not, not that the god. into all of those like voodoo voodoo god thingies. Like even when Daz was here, it was like, oh, I'm god. Like, hey, sure you are. And I'm sure most of these are more legends than gods. And the cult is the actual Monty. problem here, isn't it? Not the god itself. Oh no, the god is very much the issue. 
What have you done? I'll what have I done? A second, guys. I've not yeah. done much. I've left. That's what I've done. That's not that bad. I leave all the time. I'm gonna leave in like five minutes, so but you yeah, better but... keep this short. But I, I'm trying to explain it to you simply. I left a cult. What happens? They kill you. They were unsuccessful. So, obviously this is a big, like, stick in my fucking plan. Like, if, if the ass? stick was... No, it, it, if the stick was shoved up someone's ass, and there's Your lots of ass? shit on it, and just it's sticked in my plans, it's that's the stick right now. So I'm asking, can we remove the stick somehow? I don't know, burn it. Not while it's in your ass. But I have enough... I think I shouldn't talk in metaphors with you. <laughs> I have a plan. Don't worry. Once we I get am worried holders... because it's your plan. And you just said, Ah, oh, I'm gonna kill everybody. And you had a big great sword. And you oh. said, Oh, shit, I can't carry this. And you fell over. It was not that... It's impressive. actually not that heavy at all. I'm not gonna touch it. You don't want to touch it? That's what she said. <laughs> you don't want yeah. to. In either regard, uh, I believe the Beholder may be working with Vecna or the Why? cult. What? <laughs> we are 20 days away, mm -hmm. approximately, mm -hmm. from a Beholder that has known to defeat us. Eh. Tactical retreat. <laughs> Sure, yeah, but it was still a defeat. You still lost uh, your mech. You still lost your mech. Don't fucking remind me. Betty. <laughs> don't worry, we'll get her back. It's a hand on your shoulder. Be, she'll be well defiled by now. Rest in peace. Oh, and then there's Das, of course. Mm, yeah, sure. Yeah. But the point is... uh. I s highly suspect that they're working together just because of the timing of this attack. So what do you think the possibility is that if we go there and go down into the caves, pop the fucking giant sit and all that, that these Vecna dudes actually will cause a trouble while we are gone from the ship. If we were to lose this baby... Oh, I wouldn't like that. Uh, how big are the cannons, Doc? It's on yeah, the... It's on the galleon? It's, yeah. it's on the galleon. They're heavy. It's... Yeah, well, like, how big are they? Like, could I they mean... wipe Could they wipe out a city? No, 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 no. I don't okay. know, dude. We don't are, have that much ship money. versus ship. <laughs> okay, yeah, I thought it was, like, city wiping not technology. Not no, 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 no. No, they're yeah. just they are, cannons. They are, they are ship cannons. Simple misunderstanding. Yeah. For that, you see, need a great bombard. See, Curtis, I don't like Even a great bombard out. wouldn't be able to take down a city. Mm, I don't like people If you fire a shell that big from orbit, it's going to cause some serious damage. Sure, but not not destroy the entire city. And, yeah, from orbit. But anything from orbit would fucking oh, yeah, destroy exactly. That's what I mean. this thing. See, I, good as I don't like people being out to hunt my crew or me. So, how about this? We uh, still, I really want that uh, fucking eye dead. But after that, we'll deal with your little problem. We're fine with that. And if I, it's... Was, I was A-OK -okay going after the Beholder anyway. This just happened upon us. Uh. Still, though, you are only... And, and also, one. take notice that the ship was either in the sphere already, waiting nearby, or coming from that sphere. Yeah. What do we do about you in the meantime? Uh, hey. If I were to say all hands on deck, you will come half short. Curtis turns invisible. <laughs> Speaking of, how does that affect somatic components, Doc? Great com 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Fuck off, it doesn't. That's why. As long as you no have rules, one hand, right. you are okay. Alright then. Yeah, but, no, uh, he's alright with one, one hand. No, I, 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 I know. If he had no I hands. Could, I couldn't yeah. resist. <laughs> yeah. If I had no No, I'm over there like the fucking the master from, uh, from uh, Doctor Strange, the one with half a hand. Like, no hand. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah. After, after that, probably go to the temple. Oh, okay. And I'm guessing both Kia and... Uh, Kia have already left. Vorka. Okay, no, Vorka is there. He is left. Yeah. Mm. Me like... and the other clerics are there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm probably like to the clerics. What are we gonna do? Vorka. What? Your big, disgusting gal. You ate all that goo. Why would you do that? All of it. It's, it's like, there was a big pile. I wouldn't even be able to eat the massive amount of it okay. if I were on an empty stomach, but you ate all of it. They call her a big, disgusting gal. Why on hell would you do <laughs> that? Dog, dog. And that was why I made the wisdom saving throw <laughs> not, not to punch him. And I got a natural 20. <laughs> that means you can go ahead and punch him if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> That is a good point. <laughs> what, what do you mean, why did I do it? I had no choice. You had no choice. I had plenty of choice. I went in there and said no. And then that was my choice. You obviously went in there and said yes. And you go went for that. It was fucking weird. And you need to get a hold of yourself. It's the same thing on that fucking plan with the ice. And the same thing on the fucking plan with the mud. You need to stop this. You had a problem, you need to stop it. <laughs> this, is a, this is a dirt eating intervention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh. besides that, it was it looked fucking disgusting, smelled fucking disgusting, and I can feel it on your breath. It's still fucking disgusting. Are you alright? Are you I don't know, burning from the inside out or something uh, like that? You don't feel anything. Yeah, I don't feel bad, but I'm like Everything You should feel bad. You, you really feel should feel bad. You should <laughs> yeah, you feel anything. Yeah, exactly. I'm just no. completely no, no. Yeah, You should uh, feel bad about it. And by the way, should... Taylor, if yeah. you get that again, I'm probably gonna give you the flaw of uh, that one eating disease, uh, <laughs> oh. where you eat, you just eat like random things. Oh, yeah. uh, pica. Pica. Yeah, you're gonna, probably gonna get pica if you get that again. <laughs> just like I just like eating weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just. You're eating staple staples and fucking like erasers and ink quills. All right, and I say, uh, go ahead, throw out, uh, throw it all out, like out of your stomach, and uh, don't do it again, please. It's <laughs> I, I fucking. Already, I, I, all I I almost throw out just looking at it, and then he will go and walk by Kia. You knock on her door. Yeah. Hey, elf, you have one or two eyes. Such a great I'm asking because, you know, you are kind of have a giant cannon, and if you were to shoot, I'd need to know this, because you might hit me. <laughs> Not because I care, <laughs> just because. No, 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 no. It is. Still there, and if I do hit you, Thrall, it would be on purpose. Let me hear it. Hang on. Or, uh, all right. <laughs> Knocks one more time and walks away. <laughs> Hang on. I need to. Oh, wait. Am I? No, that's bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's bad. All right. And it then... is bad, you idiot. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 yes, being shot is bad. I just had to go through it in my head. It's it's difficult being captain. You wouldn't know. No. <laughs> and then he will go to the captain's hit and hit the like intercom thing and says, "All right, that was fun and all, but we are still killing that fucking eye. So we're going in that direction." So, uh, Roderick, don't shoot people. And I, I'm captain. I didn't. 
I addressed you. It was not an invitation to answer. Oh. I'm sorry. He's standing right next to you, by the way. You're being a real <laughs> asshole recently, Captain. <laughs> Curtis says from invisibility. There are too many people in this fucking cabin. This is the captain's cabin. Why are there four people in here? It's you, it's you and it's the parrot. All right, let's go. Okay. And Roderick we'll leaves. <laughs> and uh, the uh, takes up anchor and starts going. Yeah. Uh, Vorka, where are you going after after this? Are you just going to stay in the in the temple? <laughs> I was going to stay in the temple for a bit. Mm. Okay, for how long are you going to stay in the temple? Why do you <laughs> ask that? Yeah. Yeah, dog. Why do you ask that? I just want to know. Just Answer it. Tell me. Probably, probably the rest of the day. What time was it? Uh, I mean, time is sort of relative in outside of the spheres, but uh, from how long like, had you we know, been awake? Regular. How long have you been awake? Okay, that's a better question. Probably around like ten hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just stay in there for the rest of what would be the day. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah, you go to sleep eventually and, you know, stay in there and everybody's okay. Bryce, wh what would you be doing? I am in oh, my shit. room, um, yeah. talking to talk, uh, traumatically. Yeah, it's sorry. It's so horrible could... and I don't know why I did it and I, I, I was gonna go the other way and everyone else just kind of went that way and then I went that way because... I, I read in this thing once that you, you go that way when people are going that way, and then... And he basically is just going on and on like this for hours if anyone walks by. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I forgot to talk to Roy, uh, Bryce. So, mm -hmm. if... Do you uh, want to talk to Bryce? Yeah, during the travel, I would talk to him. Okay. So, as, you, as you're you saying all that... That's what you hear. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Um, Knox... He just goes no, quiet. How are you doing, mass murderer? I mean, killer. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna open the door and say hi. He, he's just sat staring at the dog. Yeah. See, when you said well, that you were just seen his dog yet. Nope. Yeah, no, he's, he's sat staring at a, a kind of half-alive, half-clockwork dog. See, there's no pets allowed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, As you hear, <laughs> at the distance. And that's the reason why there's no pets allowed. But considering people are st still violating the rule, I don't see why you wouldn't do that too. <laughs> Next see, time we get to port, I'm buying a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, when you said that you didn't really do combat and you didn't really, you know, know how to fight, I thought, like, I believed you, but apparently you know how, you know, the mix of it. So that's very I, fun. I, 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 I've never cast that spell before. Did I do it right? Oh, you did it very right. I, like, I've, I've never... I've never nah. needed to cast that before. It's just oh, you. I've known it for 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 a few years. This 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 guy taught me. Um, this guy taught it to me a few years ago, but I've never had to, you know, do it. And do they do they normally smell that way? Oh, it smelled terrific. It was the smell of burnt victims. So, to this is what Talk was doing, by the way, when when you walked in. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> so, um, as I told you earlier, we were going to do a ground expedition to kind of find the statue of that god that could put you in touch with these time visit yes, thingies. Yes, so we could find the time Yeah, visits. yeah. I was co thought of thinking that you were going to stay on the ship, but after this display last night, oh, brother, you're going with us. If you can do that to everybody, it would be a-okay. But I, I, I don't want to do that to everybody. I, I, I really didn't, didn't, didn't enjoy it. Oh, it's fine. Just come with us and you'll do it by instinct. 
and then it's fine. I get it. Not on purpose. I don't think I'm happy about this idea. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's especially fine because you're very good at it. And I'm just gonna leave now and you do you, man. Huck, is this a good idea? <laughs> and the dog just kind of stares at him. <laughs> because he's a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, man. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's all I wanted to add to the thing. Talk. Okay. My mic. Uh, yeah. Uh, I head up to to uh, Borka oh. one day during one the day, trip. as in the next day, or probably the next day. Yeah. Okay. Well, stuff happens the next day. Is, is oh. anyone <laughs> going to do anything between the next day? Not I. Uh, I'll go ahead and just do it then. Right, right now, because uh, he's basically just going to walk up with a. Uh, he's going to create. A um, a diagnostic monitor, Doc. You gonna if create a diagnostic monitor? Yeah. If that, that's not like can. Work. Yeah. Um, um. Okay. I'll just go ahead and uh, basically just one temp HP for the day, if that's okay. Yeah. Is that how yeah. It works? You, you could do that. Yeah. Cool. So he he, t he takes some you of his. Literally, you literally are like you you coalesce magic from the area, push it into a focus, and it pops into existence. Neat! I didn't know I could do this. And I walk over and slap it on Vorka's back. Ah! <laughs> Stay still for five minutes. What? Stay still for five minutes. How still? They're just stay still. Dude, because I thought of this earlier. Hold on. Never mind. <laughs> I, I will stay still. And uh, this should tell me a whole host of basic uh, features Hellfish. about. What yeah, type what of could be diagnostic monitor? Uh, basic. Okay. So it takes five minutes. Um. You know what the okay. suit needs to have? It needs something where you can do all of your basic physical attributes as one pop up, instead of each individually. If you want to do. So right now you'd no. have to do height. Yeah. So you figure out that Vorka is a perfectly healthy female Vork. Um, yeah. uh... HP of... Why does it only say... You only have 16 <laughs> HP? Not now. I, uh, my max is 48. Okay. You, then you would have... You would have... Uh... I would have recovered it by now. Yeah covered it uh 48 hp um eight hit die all right that's cool yeah i just wanted to make sure he, she wasn't like sick or, or something after ingesting horrible sludge oh oh yeah no uh, once she finds out that's what you want to know like i made sure of that uh pain. i then walk Here, over no. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna message you. Okay, I knew there was fucking something. <laughs> yeah, was there has, there's gotta be something. <clears throat> I knew when it said diagnostic monitor, I was like, oh yeah, there's something here. Knock on wood. What you find out is that he has, you know, menopause. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 49. I messaged you on Skype. <laughs> and, and Curtis is like staring at it, and you see the mask is like as if the it's like an animated drops. cartoon. <laughs> like the eyes like, widen. Me? It's like it's a cartoon. Yeah. And he's looking at it, and he uh, he just puts it in his cloak and says, "You're the picture of health." 
I'll talk to you soon. Insight check. Oh, you're gonna die, bitch. Really? Uh, uh, I'm not lying here, so... I... Uh, roll, roll me deception with advantage. Okay. Yeah, you, you might not be lying, but you might be withholding something. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean... You see... You take that as f at face value, you know. All right. He generally believes that. <laughs> but before he leaves, though... Curtis. Mm hmm? High five. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> High five with my left hand. He contemplates nice. murdering you, but will resist for now. Or try to. <laughs> See, I promise, he, guys, <clears throat> I'm a good guy. He goes to Bryce's room and knocks twice. Oh, poor Bryce. Okay. Bryce. That's how Bryce responds. That's you, Casey. Yes, I know. Oh, are is you it muted? Is muted? Are you yeah, muted? No, sorry, no, I was muted, but that is how Bryce responds. Uh, with silence. Um, <clears throat> okay, so he just, he knocks once more. And, and says... He, he kind of very, very quietly is saying to talk... <laughs> He'll go away if we just like leans in close, and then Top says, lines. "It's okay. I whining. I have something from the future for you." Uh, what the fuck? You wanted to get something from the time wizards, right? I don't trust you. What? Because uh, he's this is a guy. good place to start. I don't think I want to start. Like I said, if you want the time major's attention, <sighs> I'm your best bet. I have something for you. Is, is it? Is it? Are you it trying kill to give people. me a hand? <laughs> you know, one of these days, my threats to kill everyone won't be a goddamn joke. <laughs> well, maybe no, don't... it's not. <coughs> it does the exact opposite of killing people. In fact, it heals them or helps in the process. If you don't want it, I can just throw it away. It's just another useless creation from the future. About 4,000 years. I, I finally just open the door enough to get my arm out, and just my hand comes out the door. Ah, uh, there it is. And he just reaches and <laughs> plops the uh, diagnostic monitor in your hand. Oh, I thought you were going to say I will grab his fucking arm <laughs> and take his hand. Grab his hand and chop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, shit got very it's... dark fast. <laughs> that would have been amazing. He contemplates it. Oh, it's his right hand, damn it. It would look weird. <laughs> Two right hands? No, yeah. he, he, he hands you the uh, diagnostic monitor. I kind of pull it back in and look at it. You may not understand the dialect, or you may, but press the top two buttons and then turn the little lever once or twice, the little knob there, left or right, and it'll tell you all sorts of things about yourself. Have fun, and he just walks away. Bryce is going to end up sitting there messing with it, trying to figure it out. Okay. I mean, it doesn't take a while to, to figure it out. It, it, yeah, they're designed know, to be fairly Probably around 20. So. Yeah. Uh, it's, and then it's only the basic one, so... Um, yeah, it just shows you all of the... You know, your vital signs, basically. Um, you're a little bit old... <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a vitamin that's basically what it <laughs> says. Uh, but besides that, I mean, you know, you're you're fine. The meter saying, "Don't, I'm not being disrespectful, but you're being you are a bit old." Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> the important thing, though. Uh, it is in fact a temporal anomaly. Anomaly. It is a big one, in fact. 
Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, how do you spell your name, Troll? <laughs> yeah, it's a temporal anemone. It fucking eats you. <laughs> so, what what happens during our travel to the planet? Well, there's one one thing um, that he he tells you, and uh, Gertis walks up behind you just very quickly, says that, and walks away. Okay. Frawl has uh, like a blank stare for a while. Counts a few days. <laughs> And then continues. <clears throat> okay. Um, is Kia doing anything? That that's the only one. No. No. no? Okay. Kia is still in her in her room. Being a. Person. Are you still having an eye like here? Like at the... no. no. She got you. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't open the door. <laughs> like, last time, we were, uh, you were running with an eye like this. <laughs> That's you. I'm there. Okay. So good. Okay. okay. Uh, so the next day go, goes by. Um, and uh, everybody wakes up and they're, you know, routinely woken up times. Um, Everybody's just, you know, okay. Uh, T Taylor, Vorka wakes up. Yes. And uh, she feels a little bit sick. She feels... Um, uh, how do I explain it? Dying. Very nauseous. Very nauseous. Morning sickness. Yeah, like morning sickness, exactly. Uh, oh, oh, uh, hmm. One, she doesn't know what that's like. <laughs> Two, oh god. Uh, one of the crew members is like, oh, a hair of the dog to bit you. And uh, Frawl, like, slaps the drink out of his hand. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, no! Bitch, don't you fucking dare do that! <laughs> and uh, he keeps on walking. <laughs> uh, uh. I will cast uh, uh, Detect Poison and Disease again. <laughs> no, no, no poison, no disease. No. I mean, depending on your... You're fine, uh, dude. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking on about. Your Do babies point? count as a disease? Exactly. Babies are God damn it. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, I have a question. Who has seen the uh, daughter of Galactus coming? <laughs> it's a little brain parasite. Yeah. No, 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 no poison, no disease. Yeah. No. Oh. Um, uh, Frog will send some hot towels and uh, tea <laughs> to Vorka's <laughs> room. <laughs> and be very, like, every time he sees Vorka, he's like, Okay, something's up. Uh, Frog is never this nice. <laughs> Gerda, Gerda looks at you and says, why, why would you be so kind to an orc? When you're so rude to an oh, elf. Because elves are bitches. And orc, i kind of been in their skin for a while. And it's honestly not their fault, fault for being that ugly. The elf, though, she was fucking born that way. So. I'm looking at spells. Oh. Too. Don't question my racist logic here, Casey. So, Doc, I'm going to perform a ritual. Okay. What I'm ritual gonna, are you going to perform? Ritual of abortion. Fucking <laughs> 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 uh, Funnily enough, that might happen. I'm going to cast the ceremony spell to bless water and create a vial of holy water. Which I will then okay. drink. Okay. You drink the holy water. I mean, it's sacrilegious. Yeah. If, if he's Nothing cleric, happens. If he's a cleric of, uh, of Ali Damaru, then is the holy water like alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Well, and it's uh, Ali Damaru, not Ali Damaru. 
I can never yeah. pronounce it. Ali. Yes, Ali. Just say Ali. Uh, Can't be but, funeral, oh, yeah. right? Because I'm not a corpse. Huh? <laughs> funeral right means the target can't become undead by any means for yeah. seven days, but they have to be a corpse. <laughs> hmm. I'm not dead yet, so that doesn't work. Don't mind me, I'm just looking at spells at this point. <sighs> so yeah, just go on without me. Yeah. No, uh, we, are, we are continuing. We're, but, we're watching you torment yourself. Yeah, like, oh, like, more than uh, so, I remember my life then. Why? Then uh, she had this. If there's anything anyone wants to do, that's fine, but uh, nothing's really going to happen for a little while. Nope, I'm, I'm fine skipping through. Okay. Hmm. Bryce loses himself in a book or conversations with his dog for the most part. Okay. Here's a good question. Is anyone going to do anything about the tradesman? Huh? Just so far, the tradesman, because so far all you've done yeah. is purchase of bodies. I've, and, uh, that's uh, pretty I, I've, I, I've set people to kind of ransack it and go oh, through it. Oh, you have? <laughs> okay. And, and uh, like, um... Like in case I miss something with my like, uh, like wand of detection or or secret. Well, you haven't. You only looked in the cargo bay. You, oh you shit! I mean, for the entire okay. Thing. Shit! I I assumed that it was part of it. In in that case, fraud will would then continue. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, you find a ton of stuff. Huh? Uh, six chests. Oh. Filled with. Stuff. Uh, two of them are magical, but nothing, nothing else. Uh, six chests. Um, those cages still are covered. Do you uncover them? Um, how about this? I will peek just to make sure. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, you peek, and you see a uh, humanoid being. Inside. Hmm. If I peek, see a humanoid, I will. Uh, I, I will make sure to, to not be there alone. I will have Roderick and hopefully some PCs. Curtis will be there. Curtis will be there. Vorka won't be there because she has other stuff to do. Uh, maybe Kia. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm yeah. going to infect all of you. I swear to God. <laughs> You can't affect pregnancy, man. I, <laughs> I lean pregnant. <clears throat> that's I just throw a take and prove you that's wrong. That's just rape, man, and you shouldn't do that. It's it's not cool. Um. Uh. So Kia, Kia would uh, come out after the <laughs> second day, or what? Yeah, come second bad day. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the second day. Kia is shown up. Uh, so, Seeger, Gertis is or isn't there? Is. Yes. Is there? Okay. All right. Um, uh, so, you for uncom For all make sure cage. that his me mech is right in front of the landing bay. Uh, of, or of the like, uh, ramp. So, he could okay. run back for it if the need strikes. And then he'll uncover one of them. Uh, it is a naked, emaciated dwarven woman. <gasps> um, covering her or your beard? Both. Both. <laughs> oh, okay, both. Like, oh, I won't Good see him. Oh there. no, my beard. <laughs> don't don't look at me. I'm ugly. Yeah, and he'll uh, throw in like a blanket that says, uh, "Kia, maybe you could." Talk to her, and we'll see what's I'll in be, this cage. Could be well, a trick. She could be a convert. I'll yeah. be right back. Yep. <sighs> and uncovers the second cage, or third cage, technically. Uh, the third cage has a uh, male elf, naked, emaciated. How about the switch? I'm good. Hmm. I'm not. So, 
I don't know how elves do it, but you uh, want a leaf there, or how does this work? <laughs> it's a bark. Um, uh, they're both very, very weak, uh, and they practically whisper to you, basically, like, help. I need water, I need food. Give them water and food, but don't take them out of the cages. It might be one of those... I don't know, I don't trust these Vecna bitches. And we'll, we'll take the cages out of uh, the hall, and place them on the hall, and uh, we'll give them food and shit. And I, uh, I assume that hands can pass through the bars? Yes. Yeah. And they, they give them mm -hmm. bread, they give them water, uh, and they eat and drink. Very okay. enthusiastically. I also give the elven, uh, the elven, the dwarf woman a blanket, something to cover herself with. She covers herself immediately. <laughs> the Thrall doesn't want to be covered? What the fuck, dude? Thrall is trying to be considerate and uh, makes the druid uh, summon a bunch of leaves <laughs> to kind of give to the elf. For all but perhaps his dignity. Oh, he can cover it like this. And he holds it like that. Yeah. No? Alright. <laughs> the elf just stares at you. you I throw the cloak. Spare yeah. one. Yeah, he puts on the cloak. See, I, here I am trying to be like, I oh, am elf, alright. Throw it in your face, alright. Never again. Never again. So, who are you two? And why are you here? Why where are you in cages? Are you dangerous? Uh, uh, the dwarven woman mm -hmm. explains that she was on a pilgrimage to one of the dwarven citadels uh, on one of the ships that the tradesmen actually hailed uh, and basically got taken enslaved. Um, uh, probably ask, uh, say Mordin's prayer. And, and he says this in Dwarvish. She says Warden's Prayer. In Dwarvish? In Dwarvish. Okay, cool. Yeah. She doesn't actually say the prayer, she just says Warden's Prayer. Yeah, he says to the, to the elf, Lucy says what? I thought so. And... Just stay silent. <laughs> so, uh... Respectfully, last time we opened a cage, a big glob monster uh, appeared, and then uh, one of our crewmates ate half of it. Um, I'm gonna keep this clay.